Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Temple Flashback where we explore Philadelphia media through the eyes of established Temple alumni. I'm Amina Malik. Our guest for today has not only landed what most would call a dream job as a play-by-play -play announcer for the Philadelphia 76ers, but has also been honored with an Emmy for Best Play-by-Play -play Broadcaster 10 times. He's an accomplished media professional whose talent and work ethic distinguishes him from many. On this edition, we are grateful to be joined by play-by-play -play announcer, host, broadcast coach, newscaster, and Emmy award-winning sportscaster, Mark Sumoff. Thank you, Mark, for being here with us today. My pleasure. As long as you give me the 12 bucks back for the parking, I'm um, good. This will be a great <laughs> visit then. I just want to say it is a great honor to be sitting next to someone who is an, a successful Temple alumni. Um, I'm a student here at Temple as well. But how does it feel to be back here? It's great. I love coming back here when you walk into the Annenberg Hall, you immediately are flooded with many, many memories. I performed a lot here. I directed shows. I produced shows. I shot film. Back in the day, of course, it was uh, eight millimeter. But it's always good to visit um, your past because it um, it allows you for a second to see, you know, at times how far you've come, and also to be able to pay people back to be able to say to them, uh, hey, if I did it, you can do it because I was essentially in your position uh, for, uh, years ago. And uh, I just want to say a friend of yours has mentioned before uh, this show that you weren't always a play-by-play -play announcer, but used to use a flashlight, I believe, to do recordings of yourself. Tell us about that. Well, what I used to do is um, in my basement, um, my sister is about three or four years younger and I used to pretend that I was the MC of you know a quiz show Merv Griffin who is now passed was uh, a host of the show and he became a huge syndicator and great TV mogul but um, yeah that's what I used to do I, w I would grab anything and uh, just pretend that I was a host of a quiz show or a DJ or something like that um, I used to um, pretend I was a disc jockey sit with uh, what used to be records and play the records and pretend that I was a DJ. And you're a Philadelphia native? I am. I was born in Northeast Philadelphia and uh, I got my beginnings because I was a chunky kid growing up and I, I wasn't much of an athlete so when the kids would gather and choose up sides for baseball or stickball or football or basketball whatever it was they invariably did not choose me so I had the privilege of sitting on the side keeping stats and I would announce the games as like an 11 or 12 year old and uh, the kids in the neighborhood loved it and that's how I got my start. <laughs> what made you first realize that this was this radio TV news profession was what you wanted to pursue? I think back then when I started to do that that and back in the day there were a couple of powerhouse rock and roll stations WFIL which is 56 a.m. and WIBG which is 99 a.m. And the disc jockeys used to talk like this, and what they would do is when the, they would start the record, and invariably the introduction would be 10, 15, 20 seconds long, and they would give the weather, or they'd talk about their appearance at the school later that day, or something, and they always knew when to shut up, and then the, the lyrics would come in. And I thought that was really cool. So I began to imitate them, and as I related before, I used to... Uh, you know, describe the stickball games in the neighborhood, and then I got really creative, and I would turn the sound down of the TV and uh, broadcast games into a tape recorder. So I just had this natural affinity for it, and um, listen, I, I, I can't do much else. I, you know, I, I, I can't paint, I can't, uh, I, I wouldn't be a good attorney, I wouldn't be a good doctor, I'm not good at any of those things, but I think uh, I was pretty much meant to do the 